everybody. Thanks for checking out my imprints on a blog. So, this is where I sit in my sauna and I sweat and I think and I meditate and I talk about spiritual topics that I need to hear. And I've been talking about the 12 spiritual laws and how you can use them to really be more positive and to manifest what you want in your life. And I'm going to digress from that for a second because I had the most, I guess it would be emotionally debilitating experience this morning where somebody that used to be so close to me and that I really loved be so mean and hateful and cuttingly, cuttingly, cuttingly critical of me that it literally like knocked me down. And I talked before about mean people and I don't understand them because I would never want to hurt somebody and have them feel like I feel right now. This person took every insecurity that I have and basically expounded on it ad nauseum in writing, in an email, which I've talked about how writing is so powerful. Words are powerful, thoughts are powerful, but when you put something in writing and send it through the ethers, it brings that energy into being, so to speak, into the third dimension. And to think that somebody that I cared for so deeply could say those things about me is just <laughs> unbelievable and mind blowing because I would never ever treat somebody like I was treated today no matter what not my worst enemy and you know I could say worse things about him of course because everybody has their faults and everybody has things about them that are not perfect you know yeah maybe I am not 20 or 25 anymore or even 30 or 35 and maybe yeah I have a few pounds on and some wrinkles and you know things that are no longer ideal but he not only criticized my physical he also criticized me emotionally and basically said that I was a fraud and that no one gave a, f a crap about what I was saying and that no one cared and no one was going to listen anyway. And I don't know why I'm saying this except for that when I come in here in my sauna, it's like the heat somehow just opens up my mind to think and really process things and figure things out so that I can try to be a better person. <sighs> And this person is probably the meanest person ever to say those things about me because I know my heart is pure and I know that at one point I loved him so much. I could never hurt somebody like that no matter what. And I pray for him and I pray for his soul because I believe honestly that he has a demon and that demon comes out when he feels in any way hurt or insecure or backed into a wall. And that demon has a lethal tongue and will try to take you down and cut you to the bone and watch you bleed. And while you're bleeding, he'll do it again and again and again. And I believe there are people out there that are possessed by that demon energy and it's sad and it's scary and it's so painful to be subject to 
and you really have to protect yourself from that type of energy and try to stay above it because if you know in your heart that you really are pure and that you really never meant any harm then you just have to pull yourself up and keep putting one foot in front of the other I know that it's all going to be okay in the end and so um, I know I'm running over I usually try to do five minutes on the vlog but maybe today I won't even talk about the next spiritual law which is I believe the law of attraction I think we're on five or I don't even I didn't even look at my notes today I just was so hurt by this you know yeah so what I have a few pounds so what I'm not I'm not young so what I'm trying to be a good person and I'm trying to make a difference and I'm not trying to act younger or be younger than I am. And I hope he hears this because I want him to know how much he hurt me. And for anybody else out there that has ever been abused or put through something similar to that I'm going through or, or anything like that, whether it's verbal or physical or emotional, it's not okay. It's not okay, you know? Everybody deserves respect. Everybody deserves understanding. And and no one deserves abuse. No one. And I've never ever been that person that would call somebody names or prey on their insecurities to make myself feel better or whatever he was trying to do. Just to hurt me, I think. And so... Fuck him. You know what? That felt really good. But that's also low vibration. You know, and that's the thing. Sometimes when people come at you and try to hurt you, you just want to go back and say all the horrible things that you could in retaliation. Because believe me, this guy is living in a glass house and he's throwing stones and I could em emasculate him in more ways than he would ever want to know. But that just brings my vibration down and also keeps me engaged in negative and hateful energy. And so I forgive him. I forgive myself for ever being involved with somebody that's so horrible and so abusive. And I pray there are no other women that ever get involved with that man. And I pray that I have discernment in the future to know when somebody has that potential and is not a pure heart and has a demon. And I do believe light workers, and I consider myself a light worker. I mean, I really do. I, I, I believe that there are dark entities setting out to try to bring the light workers down and bring their energy down and their vibration down. And all you light workers out there, be on the lookout because they are out there. And they're dangerous. And they're cunning. And they're deceitful. And they're charming. And they have the gift of gab. And they will glamour you into believing that they are something good and pure when they are literally possessed by the devil. And so I bless all of you. I send blessings to everybody. I pray that everybody has their angel with them to protect them and to have discernment from people like this that are part of the dark force. So I'll take up the uh, rest of the spiritual laws tomorrow. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to try to clear my aura and my heart and my soul of any of this terrible negative energy <laughs> and the sadness that I feel. <sighs> Fuck. I'm sorry. You know, just... <sighs> I feel like a freaking blubbering idiot 
but I've never been so hurt by somebody deliberately in my life. I've never engaged with people that are so dark and so hateful. And I don't know why I didn't see it before, but believe me, I'm going to be looking out for those demons because they are all around. And so please forgive my watery, sweaty vlog. I promise to be more upbeat tomorrow and to rid myself of this blackness and this tar that I feel is all over me. And I pray for him and I pray that demon gets out of him. I don't believe it will necessarily because he doesn't really want it. I think some people thrive in that energy. Anyway, I may not even put this log up today, but peace to you all. Yeah.